We're taking you inside Royal Caribbean's most exclusive sailing that only happens once per year. The CEO and executive staff are on board, as are the elite of the elite loyalty members, celebrity guests, and more. This is the President's Cruise. What happens on board this week? Is it worth paying double or more for your cruise fare? Let's find out. Oh boy, look at this. Another day, another infamous gangway. This is always the best feeling, knowing you're embarking on a seven day vacation. Who knows what adventure awaits? We really don't this time. We're gonna find it together. This is what I'm talking about. Are you burning calories? Yes. Yes, and guess where we're headed? The Windjammer, every time. And we've got a whole legion of friends coming with us this time. The legion. No elevators. If I see you taking an elevator on a Royal Caribbean ship, I'm gonna be really upset with you. Unsubscribe, yeah, I'll block you, I'll block you. I unfollow you. No way. The state of Texas and cupcakes. They've got seafood towers in the Windjammer. Serve yourself lobster. Serve yourself lobster tails. Crab claw. That, wow. We've heard the food is another level on this cruise. Yeah. It's looking pretty nice so far. Tuna tartare at a buffet. Oh, so cute in the little wine cup. <laughs> Trev was thriving on all-you-can-eat crab legs. We're headed next to Tito's and Tacos on the boardwalk, but first we have to share with you guys a very fun fact about Allure of the Seas. So it's a maritime tradition that every ship has a godmother and she protects the ship and her passages through the ocean and she makes sure that the crewmates are taken care of and things. It's a real person, normally it's a celebrity, someone who's won a competition, maybe someone who's done a lot of like philanthropy work or worked for the cruise line for a long time, but in this case... Here on Allure of the Seas, it is Princess Fiona. So any any Royal Caribbean ship you go on, if you go to like the guest relations, they will always have a photo on the left side of whoever the god godmother or god family is. In this case, it's our girl Fiona. Every day on this cruise is filled with special pop-up events like this. Live country band on the boardwalk, Tito's taking over a restaurant and handing out tacos and drinks. Although, to be honest, I'm not super sold on a vodka margarita, but I'm a tequila girl. President's Cruise 2023 Magna, I love that. So quick little room tour here. You guys have seen the rooms on this ship before. But um, give you guys a quick little tour. Got our desk, got our bathroom. Got our closet here, our stuff is already here. Got our bed, got our couch, got our balcony. I actually really love the port. Well, I, I don't didn't know. even notice this on the top. Right? Like, it, it's just so beautiful, it's so brand new. Love it. So, technically, I think the sailaway party was canceled or moved, moved to the promenade. It was moved to the promenade. Due to rain, which I guess we had a little bit of a light rain, but to be honest, it doesn't look that bad, so. We'll see if we can find out where that's going to end up being. I think currently we're going to go to the Flow Rider with Alex and Diego and everyone. So, should be a good time, but um, soon we are leaving the U.S. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> we got more magnets. Are we sure this is our room number? Nine six nine two. Oh my god! <laughs> Who did this? I don't know. Did you do this? Definitely not all the friends that we have on the trip. Look at this. They're disco balls. With the perp. Oh wow, that's fancy. Did you do this? I didn't have anything to do with this. I just dropped my room key off with somebody, but it was the rest Who'd was them. Who did you give the room key to? Jess. Oh my god. And Erica was involved, and Nat was involved, and I think Kiki was involved. So and that's why none of the girls came up to the full rider. Yeah. They were decorating. They were in here in our room. room. <laughs> Look at all the little ducks. I love these. There's ducks everywhere. Shout out to all the people involved. That's you guys so are amazing. Cute. Happy birthday, babe. I, I don't even know if we've told the vlog. It's your birthday. It's my birthday. Today. It's your birthday. This is your birthday cruise. Whole cruise is all about you. Yeah, that's. No, it was just convenient timing, but this is so cute and purple. Pop quiz to the viewers, where's our favorite spot to get an espresso martini before dinner? That's I'm sure most of you guys know. We've had a couple cruise series in a row, so it should be an easy one. Ding, 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 you were all right. Look at this, by the way. The rainbow bubbles underneath the bridge. I would like to say this is significantly warmer than when we were out here in Europe. Oh my gosh, it is, yeah. Look at that, though, that's cool. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday, my love. No better place to celebrate. 
than one of our favorite places in the world. So nothing to make you feel old, like happy to have an espresso martini before you go have dinner so you can stay awake. <laughs> no, it's not like that. You know what's really weird? What? Is not seeing any water slides. So Allure is the second of the Oasis class ships. There's Oasis, Allure, Harmony, Symphony, Wonder, and then Utopia is coming next year, which will be on that. We have that booked. That's also on my birthday when that. Yes, <laughs> literally, like exactly one year from now, you guys will see that. But um, Allure is the only one that hasn't been. It's either not new enough or it hasn't been amplified. So like Oasis was the first one, but Oasis has been amplified. So technically, Allure is the oldest of all of them in the grand scheme of things because it hasn't been remodeled. So she's an old girl. That's not to say she hasn't been upkept. Oh no, they're she's, always, she's great. Yeah. But she's she's an old broad and we're we're enjoying the old broad. There actually is some things on her that whenever they do change her over, they'll be gone forever like the Sabor, Sabor. restaurant. It's one of our favorite things, so we're kind of, we're like holding out that maybe they'll just never change her. Speaking of specialty restaurants only on Allure, we're going to one tonight, a different one called Samba Grill, which is typically a Brazilian steakhouse. But tonight we have Mr. River from Four Rivers Barbecue preparing some sort of a meal for us. Exclusive barbecue dinner by Chef John Rivers. I'm very excited. We eat Four Rivers all the time in Orlando. This is going to be delicious. This is like a, a surprise merging of two of our favorite things. Yes. Thank you. So much. Happy birthday, dear child. Happy birthday to you. Absolutely love waking up to that view. A flower boot. This is very cool. I'm pretty sure it's real. Oh, yes. Those are real flowers. That's cool. So we are currently on our way to the Amber Theater. The President's Cruise is hosted by the President and CEO of Royal Caribbean, Michael Bailey. And this is his first event of many. He's hosting an island party and stuff, but we're not really sure what to expect. We think it might just be a QA. I don't know. We're going to check it out. Royal Caribbean as a, as a company, as a brand, is, is just doing great. We all come back because we love each other, but we love the staff. It's just very exciting that we've got these two brand new beautiful ships coming online uh, next year. So this first one is a toasted marshmallow old fashioned. Thank you very much. What do you think? Lavender martini. Cheers, this is yummy. This is what? Peanut, Peanut butter topics. You know, wow. I wanted to try this one on the menu. Cheers. So this is President's Cruise. We just walked out onto the boardwalk and I guess there's a pirate party festival happening. Go, 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 go! Don't let me down! Don't let me down! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! No way! No way! Oh no! They even let you butter your own popcorn. Okay, but a little bit more, please. Come on. Don't be stingy. Oh my goodness, this has been an absolute blitz. Yeah, quick change. A way sponsored President's Pinnacle event here in Central Park. Not panic, this organic. <laughs> Love that, thank you, sir. So they decorated Central Park and they even put little oranges. A little oranges in here it reminds us of home. <laughs> so technically, this is a pinnacle party. Which to be pinnacle, you need 700 nights at sea. We are at about 140. Don't tell anyone, but we got snuck in. We're, we're allowed. We're meant to be here. We were invited. But most people here are like long, long time Royal Caribbean, like loyal, loyal fans. Can you imagine 700? That's two years on a cruise ship. That's a life goal, baby. Uh, we're, we'll make it there. We're at like what? 145. 149? Yeah, we'll be close to 150 when we get off. We're dabbling in the high life that maybe when we're like 50 or 60, we'll be there. Our kids will be grandfathered in. Michael Bailey, the CEO, was walking around spraying people with a champagne gun. Oh no! What happened? <laughs> no. All right, guys, 
So the team at Royal Caribbean was kind enough to give Chels a solo 75 minute Swedish massage for her birthday yesterday. It was scheduled for today and Chels is kind enough to invite me and we turned it into a couples. We upgraded it to a couples, so that's where we're going right now. Vitality at sea. Oh my goodness. Feels like we're walking into a totally different part of the ship. Babe, look at this. Live bamboo plant? Okay, I could get used to this. Happy birthday, babe. Thanks. We've got to take our clothes off and lay down, so we will see you guys in 75 minutes. Well, howdy, ma'am. You ready for that honky <laughs> Okay. It is Western night. It's good to meet y'all. We were in a white linen champagne event, and now we're going to a hoedown. So, like... I am struggling. Okay, I love a good, like, country western vibe-themed thing. But this is so not cruise vibes that I'm really struggling to wrap my head well, around Well, we came it. from Texas, so we had to. So we're going to leave this here. We heard it's crazy down there. We have the country party. We have dinner at Giovanni's Italian. And then we have the red party tonight. It is going to yes. be a long night. Chels took a nap. She's ready. I'm looking forward She's to it. She's prepared. Italian. Yes, gonna it's going to be good. I'm going to do a little line dancing. Get a little pasta in me. Look at this. Look at these bubble braids. I really like those. You should rock these in, in real life. All right. Like it, this we'll, is real life. We'll see you guys at the party. Incredible food? Check. Wild specialty events on board? Check. At this point, we're thinking, what else could President's Crews have in store for us? Good morning and welcome to beautiful Roatan, Honduras. First port day, you ready? I am ready. I'm, I'm ready excited. to get in the ocean because it has been hot. An island party with Michael Bailey today. We've got a beach club rented out, something like that. We're not even sure what's going on. We've got like tickets in our cool. door. Should be a good time. We forgot closed toed shoes. There may or may not be horse riding and some sort of an animal experience today, so can never be too okay. prepared. Thank you very much. <laughs> Strawberry smoothie. Thank you. There they are. This little guy can't stay awake. He just keeps <laughs> falling asleep. I've counted eight, but I think there's more. I think they're just all piled on top of each other. Thank you. The ship has been amazing so far this week, but it's time for our first excursion in Roatan, where Michael Bailey has rented an entire beach club for loyalty guests. Thank you. Here you go. Nothing <laughs> makes me happier than this right now. Late in the evening. So basically today is just a beach hangout. Yeah, it's hosted by Michael Bailey. We actually have a two-story cabana. That looks sick. It's right by the taco stand, so I'm not upset about it. This is nice. We got a table, we got a little cabana, we got a fridge in here. What in the world? We've got a bathroom. Bathroom, shower, and then you go outside. Wait, go this is great. There's an outdoor shower out here? Meanwhile, look at these two down here. There's two bros. Hanging out, swiping TikTok together. When there is not a super adventurous, adrenaline-driven thing, Alex is not the laziest know. person on earth. Yeah, he just he tortoises into yeah, a shell. He hasn't taken his Gucci sneakers off. So we got signed up for clear bottom kayaking, which we're very excited about. But honestly, even more excited about this right here. Now we're doing a talk. Look at those. And here we go. Little glass bottom kayaking. I think we go around the cove over there or something. You're gonna do all the work so I can film, right? No, I'm not. Alyssa and I just had this conversation. You guys are paddling. Oh, what a great moment between bros. Hey, why'd you put Diego in the front? He's gonna be doing all the paddling. Diego got the short legs. Long legs going in the back. Yeah, but Alex doesn't do any work. You're supposed to put the motor in the back. Thank you, sir. I called it. I called it, Charles. That is embarrassing. Alex is literally doing nothing. He's just sitting back there. I'm yelling at him. Look at him. <laughs> Alex, paddle! <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Alex Ojeda, just doing absolutely nothing. Yo, look at, look at the hand placement on that. What? <laughs> it's a kayak, not a canoe, bro. This is so cool. I mean, seagrass isn't the prettiest thing in the world, but when you're in a plastic kayak, it kind of is. Look at the little jellyfish. I like him. I like him. What are you gonna name Guys, him? Uh, his name's Tony. Tony? Guys, come see Tony. Oh, he's moving. Yeah, he's on a mission. Look at the size of that sea urchin. <laughs> his abs hurt. He's hung over or what? His abs hurt from sitting. From sitting? Yep. <laughs> you don't see a problem with that? No. That's the final boss of kayaking. <laughs> Yo, Diego, let's see it. <laughs> 
Well, we know if their plane goes down and they're stranded on an island, we know Diego will survive, but Alex is not making it. Absolutely, yeah. When Alex's phone dies, that's when he's out. Honestly, I'm just glad Alex was able to survive such a traumatic experience. We ended the day with horseback riding. Diego, they got your horse here, bro. <laughs> Look at him. It ended up being a heavily guided walk along with a guide tour, so not really our vibe, but it was a very cool setting. To be honest, this was just such an epic day on a trip filled with epic days. The rest of the week had a giant pool party in Costa Maya, Mexico, a water park in the jungle, walking on the ocean floor, celebrity concerts, and too many Moet parties to count. There's already a lot to do and eat and see and enjoy on these trips. You know, that's why we love Royal Caribbean, but Presidents definitely kicks it up a notch. It does come with a heavy price tag, so I, I won't say that it's needed for most, but if you're a fan of Royal Caribbean, it's definitely got to be on your cruise bucket list. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos. We've got a bunch more coming soon. Icon as well. We'll see you there.